Hi everyone, it's Nat here from Sonic Arts, and today I have a short tutorial on how to create a riser in Ableton Live. Now, I'm using Ableton Live 9, uh, the sweet version, but you can accomplish this with Ableton Live Intro and Ableton Live Standard. First off the bat, uh, what is a riser? You've probably heard one before, you just haven't heard it referred to as a riser. I've got a short piece of electronic music here that I composed to show you just what I'm talking about to give us some context. Okay, so the riser was that whooshing sound leading up to the bass drop. And because electronic music is often made with loops and samples, um, we need to find some techniques to build some dynamics into our mixes and into our compositions. And a riser is a fantastic way of building up tension, and it usually leads to a big drop, big bass drop. So I'm just going to start a new session here. And uh, straight off the bat, it gives you two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. There are three techniques for making a riser that I'm quickly going to show you. The first is probably the most common. It's a white noise filter sweep. And you're going to need a sample of some white noise. If you have Ableton Live Suite, you can use this operator plugin. If you just drag it onto a track, It'll have no preset, and where it says wave, it's got sine as its pre as its uh, first choice. We're going to change that to white noise. We're going to create an eight bar MIDI clip by hitting Shift Command M. You can also do that from the Create Insert MIDI clip, and double click on that and just create an 8 bar long note on C3. And let's have a quick listen. There's our white noise and I'm going to freeze and flatten the track. Freeze track, flatten, which converts a virtual instrument to audio. It converts the MIDI data. Um, and the sound generator into straight audio. So now there's your white noise. Now if you have Ableton Live Standard or Intro, you need to download a free plugin, the MDA plugin pack, and I'll include the link in the show notes. We've got MDA Test Tone. So MDA is a fantastic free set of plugins that you can download, reverbs and uh, delays, all sorts of things but uh, they have a test tone generator which I'm going to drag onto this MIDI channel and I'm going to select white noise I'm going to pump the level up a little bit now here's a very simple technique of capturing audio simply go to an audio channel and select resampling as the input and hit record Now you see that's just recording the white noise coming out of the test tone plugin. So we only need about eight bars of white noise. But that's how you do it. I'm just going to get rid of these two channels here. Now that we've got our white noise, very simple step is to throw an EQ8 from the audio effects rack onto that channel. And we need to get the, the whooshing sound. So I'm going to grab a low pass filter on this number four. And you do that by selecting the shape. And a low pass filter only affects the highs and it passes the lows. You can double click on that to make that bigger. Now what we want to do, if you hear when I play this, I can muck around with that. 
there's that filter sweep that we want to automate. So I'm going to start off with it low and I'm going to sweep up to high. Now if you push it up a bit you also get a resonant peak which is sometimes makes it cut through the mix a bit more. And you'll see that I want to automate this frequency. So I just right click on that and go show automation and this little red line is the automation line. Now I'm very simply going to put a point there at the start and a point at the end and drag that up and we'll get our result. I'll play it. It's that easy. And uh, to make that sound a little bit more complex and a little bit uh, more interesting, we can drop a kick drum onto another channel and sidechain that to a kick drum, uh, which is used a lot. You'll hear this a lot in electronic dance music in the big productions. It's a very simple technique and uh, it's really great at building tension. So I'm just going to look for a kick drum here. In uh, These are just native kick drums that have been included with Ableton Live. So there's a nice sub kick there. I'm actually going to pop that on a MIDI track. So I'm going to create, I just right clicked in a blank space and go and insert MIDI track. Double clicked on the track and I'm going to drag that down here and it's going to pop it into a simpler. So now I can trigger that with my keyboard or I can just create a MIDI clip like before. Shift Command M. I'm just going to draw in some kick drums on one, two, three, four. If we highlight them, we can duplicate. There we got eight bars of kick. Now I'm just going to grab a compressor, pop it on the white noise track. There it is there alongside our EQ. I'm going to hit this little arrow here and that means I can side chain that and I just select kick. And we just need to drag the threshold down. Make sure we've got a big ratio, slow, uh, fast attack, fast release. So let's listen to that effect. And that will make the riser pulse in uh, in time with your track. It's a very rhythmic effect. So that's the white noise filter sweep. That's the most common riser. Now the next one is a rising note. And uh, this is very effective at creating tension. And I'm just going to grab Simpler, which comes with all, uh, every version of Ableton. I'm just going to choose a synth lead. That'll do. Drag it into an empty space. It'll create a MIDI track with that instrument on it. Now I'm going to create an 8 bar MIDI track, 8 bar MIDI clip rather. Double click on it and I'm going to create an 8 bar long note on C3. Just gonna, I'm just going to mute the first two tracks. So there's an 8 bar long note. Now if we double click on that, that'll bring up the MIDI editing window. And what you want to find is down here under clip, there's a little E, which will open up the, the envelope. And this little red line, you can automate a bunch of things, but straight off the bat it will be set to pitch bend, which is what we want. And I'm going to create automated sweep going from low all the way down to high and this is a pitch riser and we'll have a quick listen to what that sounds like so 
So you can use that leading up to a drop to create a lot of tension. Um, now just quickly, uh, Simpler doesn't have this ability, but if you use something like Operator, uh, you can actually change the range of that pitch bend. So I'm going to select uh, a sound from Operator, which is only included in Ableton Live Suite. Uh, you can purchase it independently as an instrument. It's one of my favorite uh, software synths that come with Ableton Live. And I'm just going to pick a sound. That'll do. And I'm just going to pop this on the track. If I put it on the name there, it'll override the other instrument. And in the operator, you can change the pitch bend range by clicking on the gray area on this bottom block and it says pitch bend. Currently it's three steps, which is three semitones. I can change it up to an octave if I like. And you'll get a much bigger range. You'll actually get a two octave range because it's 12 steps from uh, the bottom up to the middle and then another 12 steps from the middle up to the top, which we can see there. From there to there's an octave, from there there's another octave. So that's probably a little bit too much. I'm going to make it maybe six. And you can do that with any sound you like. You can create your own patches and you can automate them. Now the last technique that I want to show you is using uh, a rhythmic technique. So we just need a snare sound. Uh, you can do it with a snare, you can do it with any. A tom works well. Any sound. So I'm just going to go to samples here, look for a snare. Doesn't really matter what sound you choose. I'm going to create a MIDI track and just drag that. Sorry, double click on there, drag it down here, and it's going to create a simpler with that sample loaded into it. This is a very simple way of doing it. You can use a drum rack as well, but this is just a very quick, simple way. Now, I'm going to create a MIDI clip, Shift Command M. It would help if I did it on the MIDI track. Let's just delete this one. Now I'm just going to pop on the metronome here. So I can hear the beat of the song. And this is used a lot in to build up tension in electronic dance music. So I'm going to create a one hit every uh, half bar. Then I'm going to create one every quarter note. Duplicate that. And then create one every eighth note and duplicate that. And we can go down to even a more finer level. And create sixteenth notes. And this is a rhythmic build up of tension. Let's put them all together, which you can do. You can uh, you can pop these all together. And right at that point is where you would drop the bass hard in styles like dubstep, deep house, glitch hop. Um, that is a fantastic way of building up tension in your compositions, making your songs more interesting. And uh, if you're a DJ or if you want to have your music played in clubs, 
you can make a two bar riser, four bar riser, 16, even a 32 bar riser. But you're constantly building tension and then making your drops heavier, nastier. So there are three techniques you can use to create a riser in Ableton Live 9. And uh, you can also use these techniques in any other major uh, digital audio workstation and most of them will have the plugins to get the job done. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this informative. Uh, this is actually the first video I've ever made and there's going to be plenty more coming. So stay tuned and uh, keep an eye out for the Sonic Arts YouTube channel.